Hi, this is Trey Mayer with Total Tech Resource. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to add and create multiple content types and add it to a single document library. This will allow the user to associate metadata to the specific type of document. To begin, let's first create a library. To do this, we're going to go under Site Actions and Create New Document Library. Let's name this document library Agreements. And we want to display it in the document library on the quick launch. We're going to say Create. Now we've created a document library, let's begin to create the content types. To create a content type, you want to go to Site Actions, Site Settings push site content types. Now you see all these multiple out of the box SharePoint content types. What we're going to do is we're going to create our own. We're going to push create. Since we create a library with agreements, let's name this a legal. So this is going to show a legal agreement, a content type. The description of it's going to be this would be a great place for a description document type. Now we're going to add, we're going to change the business content type right here. We're going to make this a document content type. Along with that, we're going to make the parent type a document. If you notice here, you have groups. What groups does is it allows you to sort and group your content types so that they can be deployed in multiple places. So we're going to do, we're going to create a new group and we're going to call this agreement. Agreements content types. In the future we'll add more content types to that. Now you see that you've created a content type and you want to add columns and metadata to this content type. So we're going to add from new site column let's keep it basic and let's only add three new fields. Let's create a new one and let's call this one date signed and we're going to make it a date and time content type or column type I'm sorry and we're going to create a new group and let's call this we're going to call this one legal column type once again this help keep us organized and grouped so if it needs to be deployed elsewhere it can be so date and time we're going to leave all this the same we're going to make it date only leave all the other variables the same there it is so let's create another one I'm just going to add new site column and let's name this one type of legal agreement. We all know there can be multiple types of legal agreement, so let's push choice and a menu to choose from. Once again, let's go ahead and add this to an existing group, and let's add it to the legal column group. We do not need to create another group for this, as we already have it categorized. So our choices are going to be, let's go legal agreement 1, legal agreement 2, legal agreement three just to represent three different types of legal agreements and let's just make this a drop down select there won't will not be any multiple selections the user will have to choose one I'm gonna leave all the other default settings the same now let's create our third column and this third column we're gonna call this just a brief description this allows the user to enter a brief description about the document. So we're going to make this content type multiple lines of text. And once again, we're going to add it to the legal column type. We're going to go ahead and leave the rest of this, the rest of these additional settings. We're going to leave them the same. We're just going to keep it as is. So we'll push OK. Here, that's the three we're going to add. Date sign, type of legal agreement, and brief description. And that's all associated to this legal agreement. So now let's create another content type so that we can see the difference between the two content types as they are associated in the document library. So once again we're going to go to site actions, site settings, site content types. And notice here this is agreement content types. We created that. We're going to create another one. and We're going to call this one a contract agreement. Once again it's we're going to associate this. Now please be aware that this is the parent content type. We want to make sure the parent content types always says that document content. And it's always going to be a document. Now the group is going to go to an existing group 
and it's going to go in agreement content types. Remember we created that on the first one. So we're going to push OK. So now we have two types of agreement, a contract and an, an ag and a legal agreement. So let's add some columns to this contract content type. So we'll add from new site column. And let's just name this uh, to contact. I'm sorry, I drew a blank. Person to contract. contact. And we're going to do a single line. And remember this right here? Let's go ahead and create a new group. We're no longer under a legal for the columns. This is going to be a contract column. And we're going to leave the rest of it the same. You get 255 characters as your maximum number. Everything else is going to stay the same. All right. Now that we have, you know, separate metadata assigned to that one, and then we have separate data assigned to this other content type that we have here, the agreement, the illegal, and the contract agreements. Legal, we have those. Contract, we have those. All right, now let's begin to show how these are implemented in a document library. Let's go back to the agreement library that we created earlier, right here in agreements. So this is our default view, our default options. So what we're going to do, we have two separate now. And let's add those to this document library. To do this, let's go to library, and then you're going to go to library settings. And notice here, there's not anything about content types. What you got to do is you got to click this advanced settings, and you want to allow management of content types. Click OK. Notice this gives you an extra field, content types. Well, we do not need this document, so we're going to delete this content type. And what this does is it allows, now we don't have any content types in there, so what we're going to do, we're going to add from existing site content types. Remember before when we added these in the site content group? we added them to an agreement content type there they are the contract and the illegal so we're going to take both of those and we're going to add them so now what we've done is we've created two content types in one document library we have other associations down here we can add additional columns those columns can be a column that would go on every document that's uploaded for instance we could create a column let's create a new one real quick so we're going to create a new column, and we're going to call this, let's call this date uploaded. Date and time. And we're going to do today's date, so that it always has today's date when they upload it. So notice it says add to all content types, add to the default view. We're going to say OK. So now what we have, we're going to go back to our library, and we're going to upload a document. So we'll go to add documents. Let's go find one. Um, here we go, video one. Notice we have our document uploaded. And right here we have content type. We have a contract or we have a legal. Now notice when I click, notice contract has person to contact. Remember when we entered that in our content type? Now we'll, and as we do this, we push legal. It's going to give us those other fields the date signed, the type of legal agreement, and a brief description. Those are the associations that we put towards those content types. So it's not illegal, it's a contract. And I'll put a contract test. Person to contact. And you can also make that a lookup field if needed. Date uploaded, it's today. So we're going to push save. And there is our first one. It's our first content type. Now, what content type is that? You know, I'll show you that here in a bit. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add another content type. And this is a picture. It can be a document picture, any association of a document. So we're going to change this one to a contract. Let's change it to a legal agreement. The title is going to be legal test. The date signed, let's say the legal agreement was signed on May 10th. And it's a legal agreement to and it was uploaded today. As we can see, we have two of them in there. But let's change the views around. Let's create what we're going to do is create two custom views inside of this. 
So we're going to click library again and we're going to push create view. And let's do a standard view and let's name this view a legal view. And what it's designed to do is to show all content types that are legal agreements. So we're going to take off the modified, modified date. We'll leave the date uploaded on there. Brief description is part of it. Content type, we need to know what content type it is. And we have type of legal agreement. And is that it? And we have date signed. There it is. So now we have those in order for legal agreement. Let's organize these the right way. We want it to have uh, content type is going to be third. Brief description is going to be fourth. Data uploaded. All right, that should do it. Let's check it out. So now we have these. So we've got a filter based on those. So let's add a filter to our view. Down here you'll notice it says filter and sort. You can sort it by whatnot. So we're only going to show show the items when the column content type is equal to legal. We're going to say OK. Notice now our legal is filtered. So we have an all documents view and we have a legal view. Let's create one more view real quick and let's call this view contract once again we're gonna design these the way we want it in the order that best fits the need for the solution so we have a person to contact is the only thing and we're gonna make that in the third one on there and we're also gonna filter this one as well we're gonna make sure it's equal to contract show that content type is equal to contract. So now you see we have the contracts. So if we have all documents, we look at it, man, what is it? Yeah. Click legal, it'll show legal. Click contract, it'll show the contracts. Keep in mind that this is a very limited example of how powerful content types can be. Um, if you need any additional service, please contact us at ttrcorp.com. Thank you and have a good day.